Nearly two weeks after the earthquake, the emergency medical work that MSF teams are providing is diversifying. The number of operations carried out in Port-au-Prince remains very high. However, there are an increasing number of patients in need of post-operative care. What we're tending to see now are severe wounds that need to be cleaned and treated regularly. Fortunately, the number of amputations we're performing is now decreasing. A few kilometers from the capital, in Leogan, MSF teams are again working in difficult conditions. As you can see, we've set up four operating units, these four tables here. For sure, the, the situation wasn't ideal. The staff were frightened to work in the hospital, so we had to set up this field hospital to be able to operate. Until yesterday, we were still having strong aftershocks from the quake. We're all frightened. The medical facility in Paco was severely damaged during the earthquake too and has had to be evacuated. Patients were transferred to San Luis, where the inflatable hospital is finally functional. MSF brought further patients from Trinity Hospital, where they had to lie on the street. It's clear that for the patients who were outside on the grass, they didn't all have a mattress even, they were lying on cardboard. Simply transferring them to a tent has had a soothing effect. It calmed them immediately. They felt better. There are physical wounds, but there are psychological wounds too, and these are beginning to show. MSF has psychologists and psychiatrists present to help patients cope with the terrible consequences of the earthquake. Other teams are conducting assessments in the capital and surrounding areas to identify people in need of medical care. People who've lost their homes have gathered here on this site. Their homes were further down and simply collapsed. We're looking into setting up a healthcare clinic here, which would be accessible to everybody in this and the surrounding camps. They look out for patients presenting minor wounds and illnesses that could become serious if left untreated.